I'm probably, I'm probably going to say something very politically incorrect by making this video. In my personal opinion, the new Doctor number 13, the 15th incarnation of the character Jodie Whittaker, was actually a very, very good choice. Let me explain why. What this 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 actor has made it big in the Doctor Who community. For one, and the reason is because she's the first of the female Doctors to appear in the mainstream universe, and bec and it's been incredible the responses. I mean, actors, fans, directors. Everyone's been give everyone who's ever been a part of the TV show, whether it be classic or new, has voiced their opinion on it. And and however, and unfortunately, there have been some like mean like trolls who've given and unfortunately fans who've made it a bit of a split decision. The first time that idea of a female doctor came to me was when I was 11 in my final year in primary school. My friend, who was a massive Doctor Who fan at the time, told me that the next 11th doctor would was going to be a woman. At first I thought, no way, they're, they're, they're not going to go that way. And unfortunately, on my part, I thought that for a long time. But when, but but I, however, I learned that um, Big Finish, a company that does audio dramas for Doctor Who and such other classic shows like The Prisoner, Captain Scarlet, Avengers, had had did a, a story of an alternative universe Doctor who was a female, and then I learned this in high school, and it actually got me thinking. You know, it wouldn't actually be that bad to have a female doctor. It might, it might be a nice change. But when they were revealed in summer 2017 that there was going to be a female doctor as the main as the main doctor, no alternative universes, no gags, no common strict, proper mainstream, I didn't feel any negativity. In fact, I felt incredibly positive looking at her. I, I felt like a, a breath of fresh air just landed on my face. I felt this was right. This was absolutely 100% right that this actress was picked for the role. How an And then I learned that there have been people who sent some men, mean treats. Like I read that there was one person who said that they were never, never going to re-watch the show because of this casting choice, not because of the actress, but because she was a woman. And I actually felt so, so disappointed reading that. For starters, this guy isn't a fan, because if you're going to let something like this tear you off from a show, a great show like this, then you really are a bland person and you don't, and you are not open to new things at all. I think one reason people have a problem for this is because of the change, and we ha and we can't disagree that this is a change. But we should also should also remember this is do the Doctor. The character has been known for change. One of the biggest rules you should do when watching this show is that is to know that you should never never get too attached to the prime main doctor you're watching because chances are in three or four years they're going to replace the actor and i agree that this is a massive change because nothing like this has been done before it's such a because because you're not just changing the character's personality you're changing their gender but the fact is there's not much difference I mean, take away gender, skin, religion, nationality, and we're not really that different. I mean, I, when I saw her, I didn't really feel that different. I felt happy. 
And I think that's a, maybe a problem for fans, well, old, maybe some super hardcores, that it's hard to accept such a massive change like this. But then again, Doctor Who has always experimented. Remember, the first ever Doctor was a granddad. He had a walking stick, he wore a Victorian outfit. He was a granddad, and many people seem to forget that. I mean, I love David Tennant and Matt Smith, but people really, will, some fangirls really romanticize them too much. And they need to remember, he was a granddad. And again, and, and they tried experimenting with other doctors, like they made Peter Capaldi trying to bring back the old guy look again. And and also with Peter Davison, by, since he was the first of the youngest Doctors. Even Patrick Troughton, the first Doctor to be regenerated from, was an experiment. And that's what Doctor Who is. Every actor, all the personalities the characters have, have been experimenting. And, and for me personally, I felt every actor they have gotten so far for Doctor Who felt right. William Hardnell, he was an anti-hero. He could be a bit cold at times, but he was a hard man. And yet, he did have this soft side to him. Tom Baker, he was just a man of the universe. He just knew everything there was to know. and He was just a question mark. He was a Doctor Who, because he never knew where he was going or what he was doing. Colin Baker, if I gotta be honest, the most underrated of them all. I know people had some gave him a lot of backlash in his time as the Doctor, but when I saw his episodes, Trial of the Time Lord, I, I, I felt he was so in control of it. When he learned that his companion had died, you could see the emotion in his face. It was powerful, and how he berated the Time Lords, learning who the Faliod was. The acting was sensational. He was the Doctor, and when he play, and when I listen to his big Finnish stories, he just owns it. And and I think Jodie Whittaker will own this role. I've seen her in Broadchurch. The passion she puts into that role as as a mother who suffered such a massive tragedy, it was big. And I know, and I know she has the experience and skill. To do to do this role justice, because in even though even though so far we've only had two words from her as the Doctor, the the curiosity in her face, the music that symbolised this new beginning, it got me pumped. I want to see what happens to this character. What what happens to this new Doctor? Will they? How will they talk about the gender change? How will they, how, What will her personality be like? Why did she pick the clothes? There's so many questions I have for her. Will she meet other doctors? It's incredible. What I'm trying to say is, you shouldn't see, don't see this change as a forced thing or a negative thing. See it as a breath of life, because because she can be a this character, this actress can be such a wonderful role model for not just females, but for but males also, because because. Let's look at shows like Legend of Korra and My Little Pony, shows that have lots of female influences. And it's positive, because in My Little Pony, most of the watches, the people, the fan base, is 89% of it is made on grown men. And that's a good sign. And we need to remember, this is the Doctor. No matter what body he, ha he or she has, or what ever happens to them in the future, it's still the same character we know and love. So we should look at this look at this new change with a br with bright smile and a thumbs up because that's what the doctors would want us to do. And we should and, and, and we should be excited to see this new age. Because this because she's gonna bring a lot of new she can bring a lot of new fans onto the site. And you never know, she might actually be the new best doctor. She could she may even be better than David Tennant and Tom Baker. You never know. She could be the the new D Doctor, and that's just exciting. So we should all just keep, just just get into our tardises and watch our TV and get ready to see this lovely new adventure. And and be and let's be honest, 
Missy and that and Time Lord Commander who which generated into women. A doctor becoming a woman, it it was gonna happen sooner or later. I just say let's just let's just enjoy it for what it is.